Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to look at in this video is how Unify has content filtering built in and how it handles locking down your DNS. So let's go over to my UDR. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to networks and we're going to go to this default network, which is where most of my devices are and we're going to want to lock it down right so if you go to the network whichever network you want to do content filtering on as long as the usg the um or the the unify gateway is the gateway and it's not a third-party gateway this should work so if i click on the network and i go down to advanced and manual and if you are not auto scaling the network and you've set some other things you may already have manual selected but if you don't you select manual and right here there's this content filtering and it tells you it applies content filtering networks to block malicious phishing and adult sites for a more customizable content filter create a traffic rule so we'll talk about that here in just a second but the free databases or the free dns filtering that this uses on the back end is clean browsing and you can use this yourself and you know, we talked about that in the last the last video so they actually do use this and what happens when you select work is it's going to block uh, porn malicious domains and your search engines are set to safe mode when you select family it's going to block vpns explicit porn malicious domains search engines and youtube set set to safe and what it's doing in the background is it is creating a set of DNAT rules. So it's capturing all of that DNS traffic. So even if you, you know, set your DNS on your machine to something else, the this UDR, your UDM, uh, should capture it and redirect it to those, those DNS filters. So... We're going to let that go for a second, and then we're going to try a spicy site and see if it does block it. But if you're interested, you can check out the cleanbrowsing.org. Now, this is a really quick, dirty way to do it um, without a lot of fine grain control in the filter itself. But as soon as we try that site, then I'm going to actually show you the rule that they were talking about. All right, so here we are in our in private browsing window, and we're going to try this spicy site and it doesn't work, right? So the DNS filtering in Unify does absolutely work. That being said, it does lack that, that fine-grained control, like if you were using a DNS filter and you're able to go in and adjust all the things on the back end. You can take it one step further, and you can come into traffic management, and you can create a rule. So if there's something that's not blocked that you want to block, you can come in here, you can block it at the app level, or you can block... At the domain name, you can block the region or whatever. So if we select app and then we do their drop down, you can scroll through here and you can see all of the different apps that you can block on top of the content filtering. Now, I assume that means we could also allow it. So you might be able to override those content filters using this. I haven't tried it, so I can't guarantee it, but you've got things like kick messenger you've got you know wechat snapchat uh, bittorrent all of these things that are in here so you can check this out but we'll uh we'll select something real quick uh good old bear share so we're gonna block bear share and we're gonna block it on all devices and it's gonna always block it and this is gonna you know block bear share and add that rule, and now that is done. No one here can use bear share. So there is content filtering here. It's not as extensive as I would like to see, but it is here, and it does work. You saw that it blocked probably the number one spicy site in, in the world, if I had to guess. But let me know if you've got any questions about this. Um, if you want to see DNS filter, I've got some older videos on it. I was a beta tester for them. And I do use it on the daily. Um, so if you want to see that, let me know. If you want to see anything else when it comes to traffic management uh, with Unify, let me know down in the comments. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. 
please subscribe, please comment, share, please follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below, along with affiliate links that you can use to help support the channel. Um, if you feel if you feel uh, like you'd like to do that, we also have a Patreon link below. And if you need IT consulting to go over your network setup to see if you've got things that can be tightened up like this, if you just need help on anything from voice over IP to security to networking, if we can't help you, we'll get you to someone who can. That's our promise to you. You can reach out at willyhow.com. There is now a contact form right on the front page. Uh, so, Or you can click hire us or contact us. And uh, after you submit that, we'll get that, and someone will respond to you as soon as possible. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.